Hey, welcome back, everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to start the Canadian side of the smallmouth series on Lake Erie. In this video, we're going to be covering the some of the shoals and Chick Islands and East Sister and North Harbor Island Reef, all the way up to Colchester Reef. I'm going to start in the south and work my way north up up through all these shoals and islands. We're going to go ahead and start on these shoals just north of North Bass Island. These these shoals can be pretty good at times. I'm not going to go too into depth. I know you guys have heard me talk already three or four times about fit fishing shoals and and how to fish them and and what baits. But these are uh all three of these Underwater shoals here are good spots to check. If you're if you're on your way up there, you might as well idle over it, see if there's fish there, or if you're pre-fishing for a big tournament or something, make sure you check these shoals. Sometimes, not all times, but sometimes there's some big groups of fish hanging out around here. On these, I'm going to focus on the inner points. So this point right here, this point right here, and this point right here, these fish are kind of going to do this trying to find bait okay moving on uh these are the chick islands uh just a word of caution be be real careful in this area there's there's some underwater obviously you can see these little chick island and stuff these sometimes they're just underwater or just over the water you can see on a windy day you can see the waves breaking across these things so just just be careful if you're fishing this area. Um, if you're fishing in the summertime, you know you don't normally have to worry about it because you're off the end of these shoals anyway, or off these these deeper contours. Uh, just one word of caution: there is an underwater. Yeah, right there it is. That's not. It's not really marked. Yeah, sunken chick. So it's not really marked by. Navionics. This may be where they missed the mark on it. I don't know. But just north of Little Chick Island, check this out on Google Maps. I think. Where the heck are we? There we go. So, yeah, yeah, you could see it just under the water right here. Just north of Little Chick. So, it's, it's, somebody's marked it on their Navionics and, and they've included it here, but the contours do not reflect it. So, just be careful right there. Uh, I have caught fish off that though, off the end of it. So just be careful. Throw your trolling motor down and creep up to it. Don't don't be trying to run across that. Different water levels, wave heights, stuff like that. You can hit bottom right there. But this little chick island, not now that we're on Google Maps, you can see how dangerous it is in this area. So what what I'm doing is I'm I'm creeping up through here and. If I want to fish a specific contour on one side of these islands, I'm just throwing the trolling motor down and creeping up to it. Just so I don't cause an issue. Uh, but fishing the Chick Islands, Big Chick I or Chick Island, Big Chick Island, Little Chick, Sunken Chick, are all, all the same as any of these other shoals or, or small inhabited islands. I'm going to fish these outside contours. 13 to 25, depending on rock structure, boulders, stuff like that. So specifically on this group of shoals, I've caught fish. Let me go back to Google Maps. So in this area, in between Chick and Big Island, there's, there's some nice rocks and grooves and stuff in there. I've caught fish in between these two and then off the western end. So I fished off the western end here. You see this real long point coming out. Caught fish there. Caught fish all the way out to this buoy. Um, and then Little Chick Island off the eastern end. This hump right here, it's, it's a real narrow hump. You can see it on Google Maps. Uh, right here. So it's real narrow. I kind of like run across it like that. Trying to find fish. Um, and I'll fish the deeper sides 
on the north and south sides of it. And out here, I'm primarily using tubes and drop shot. I don't, I don't normally throw a swim bait on the, on this end. Uh, not saying it won't work. I just haven't thrown it. I just, I do very well on a drop shot and a tube out this way in various colors. Again, three inch on the darters, four inch on the tubes. So I'll move up to Hen Island here. There is a saddle, if you see in between these shoals. Can you see it on the maps? No, you can't. So a lot of times I'll fish in this area right here. There's some rock structure out there that sometimes holds single fish. So I will live scope in this area, try to find fish hanging on single boulders, stuff like that. Never really found them grouped up in there, but I've caught some nice fish live scoping around in this area. Uh, and then off the, yep, there it is. So off the eastern end, off the eastern end of this show, or show, an island, watch this point right here. But I fished the northern side of this, this point on the east side of Hen Island. Uh, for, for whatever reason, it holds fish there. And it may be what I was out there fishing with a buddy and we came up with a, you know, kind of why they were hanging out there is because that current comes obviously down from the Detroit River, comes across here. This is a good area for them to rest. They can get behind this island depending on wave action, of course, but they can get behind this island and, and not have to worry about that current. And a lot of times I've found some nice fish sitting in here, big groups of fish on this. That Again, it's the north side of that, that shoal, that long point that comes out on the east side of him. So, okay, we'll move on. This, this shoal, I've never fished it. Uh, haven't even driven across it. So, can't cover that one. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's fish there at times. Just never fished it. Uh, this is the main area that I fish when I when I do come up this way. So East Sister Island, in between one of my best spots here is North Harbor Island, in between East Sister Island and North Harbor Island. There's this saddle right here. And these fish will sit in here mo most of the year. There, there's going to be fish in here. So I've, I've, I've never fished. Obviously, I don't fish here in the spring because it's closed season. But they, you know, after the season opens that last Saturday in June, uh, this is the first spot I'm checking is over here. E even this point, this whole, this whole area right here uh, holds holds really nice big fish you know tournament quality fish so um and i know in the past pro tournaments and stuff people have fished here as well i mean you can see it on the live coverage and the the backlogs of videos and stuff but that that's a really good area in there um sometimes i have to tool around with the side scan try to find them um, and so sometimes there's one fish on an isolated boulder. Sometimes they're grouped up on, on one of these contours. Uh, it just changes every time I go up there, but there's, that's, that's one of the main spots that I fished there. Uh, now I have caught fish on the North side of North Harbor Island. On these contours, there's an underwater point that kind of comes out here. Just an irregularity in those contours. Uh, that's what those fish are going to sit on. Let's see if I can find that. Yeah, you can, eh, can kind of see it with the sun there. But anyway, I'm fishing out here is where I'm fishing, off this island. The next spot is, now this can be hit or miss, this North Harbor Island Reef. A lot of people fish this for walleye in the summertime, but uh, there's some really good smallmouth that can be had on this North Harbor Island. Now, I'm not sure where they're coming from. You know, these things roam around all the time, but off the end of this, you just kind of kind of find where they're at. 
Um, be careful on this show. Let me go to Matt's. Can you see it on here? I uh, can't see it. Anyway, be careful on this show. Last time I was up there, I mean, you can see it. You can see it's like in a long, it's like a long show, like right here. You you can see it when you pull up to it. So when I'm pulling up to it, I kind of throw the trolley motor down, tool around. Uh, 15, when I found them on this show, I found them relatively shallow, 15 to 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that 15 foot contour that goes around here, wherever it is. Uh, and I'm going to go all the way around this thing in 15 foot casting up and out by that. I mean, I'm casting shallow and deep on both sides of the boat. I'm going to do that real, real slow coming around here, trying to find those fish or, or you can scan. I mean, you can try and scan and find the bait, uh, or obviously live scope. So, but that's. At times, this is a pretty good spot. So if you're pre-fishing for a tournament, you know, a day or two, you got a big tournament coming up, check this out, and you're planning on fishing Canadian waters, come up here and check this out. Because at, at certain times, I mean, there's 20 to 25-pound bags on this on this shoal right here. Are they going to be there all the time? I don't know. But And you also know how these fish are. You go out there three days before your big tournament, find a find a big 20 pound bag out here and then you come back during the tournament and then fish are gone you know how it is but anyway that's a good spot to check see if they're there see if you can figure out how to catch them uh i've used swim baits drop shot and tubes in this area and caught fish but like i said they're kind of relatively shallow on this shoal maybe because it, it it drops off into sand into a barren wasteland pretty quick so they're probably they're they're hanging on these rock contours is what they're doing, but I kind of go like I said I kind of go around here with the trolling motor cast shallow and deep, so I try to find where they're at. But that's a good spot to at least check, see if you can find some fish there. Uh, next spot is uh, Colchester Reef. Now I know this is a haul, and I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover this North Shore, all the way down to Pigeon Bay and uh, Point Peely in some other videos i'm going to cover that pretty extensively uh got a lot of experience up there but this i'll i'll go up to colchester reef here real quick uh th this is the same as north harbor island reef so if you if you find fish here you're gonna find a lot of big fish so when these fish wander out now i'm i'm assuming these fish are coming from mainland or they might be coming from these right here. I don't know. But when you find fish on these little isolated shoals that are miles from anything else, it's it's they're normally grouped up big and there's a reason they're there. There's probably a lot of bait in the area. Um you know, the wind or waves or current pushed them out of one area into the next for whatever reason. But I've caught it some nice fish on the on this reef right here. So it's worth a stop. If you're up if you're up on your way to this north shore from Ohio, you know, I'm mainly talking to the Ohio guys in this video, but it it if you're on your way up to this north shore, it's worth a stop here for sure. At least look around, make 10 minutes of casts. You know, some sometimes you'll find that you'll find that nice school in there or a couple nice big ones. But I've caught some nice fish off of that reef. I think that's it. Okay, this is a this is a short one here because I, obviously I've covered shoals in the past videos, and you guys know how I fish them and um, you know how to approach them. So, okay, that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.